All right, well, welcome back to the garage, guys. As you've seen in the last episode, I got a new toy. This is what I got to uh, help out with fixing up old truck 17 here. It's definitely going to be an asset when it comes to hanging the frame rails on the trunnion stand. And when it comes to taking the cab and the hood and the engine and the transmission out of this thing. But before this forklift gets too much use, the first stage lift cylinder needs rebuild on it. It leaks like a sieve. I've got the battery tender on it right now trying to make sure the uh, new battery that came with it stays up and uh, what we're going to do today is I'm going to get this moved around back behind the Mac uh, closer to the toolbox and not quite so cramped so I can get to work on this thing the sooner this gets done the sooner we can put some frame rails on 17. all right well hopefully this thing will start it's been geez I don't know, probably six months or better since I parked it here. Um, like I said, I got it and really didn't mess with it. Let's turn our propane on here. Pump it. Okay, so I've been looking around on this forklift trying to devise a plan on how to get this main cylinder out of here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to start it up. I'm going to pick these forks up a little bit, slide them in, take the actual forks off. And then it looks like if I unhook the chain that goes around the top of the cylinder I need to take out. If I unhook that, unhook my lines for my side shift, um, I should be able to just to use my hoist, hook it right there on that eye, and lift this whole fork frame right out the top. And that'll get all that stuff out of my way. Should make it nice and easy to get that cylinder out. So that's the plan anyways. We'll see how that goes. Short enough to fit under this, so I'm gonna 
if I have to rely on these damn oil soakers to not have a mess on my floor. Okay, well, I got my cylinder set up on the table here. It's kind of nice that it has this block on it so I can clamp it down to the table and you don't got to worry about it spinning. But I got a ratchet strap down. This will be my first time taking a hydraulic cylinder apart. But, uh, yeah, I'm guessing for that style of nut, we use... <coughs> Excuse me. We use this style of wrench. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll see how hard it wants to come apart. Hopefully this thing doesn't want to be too difficult. Well, that was easy. Things like that concern me when they're a lot easier than they really should be. It makes me wonder what else is going to go wrong. Backup ring on the nut. Piston. Is that supposed to be blue? Oh. Okay. So that's just got a snap ring holding that on. But it looks like we got a backup ring and then a seal. There's some description. I imagine there's probably an overing in that, and then there's probably something inside that, but at least from what I can see, the rod doesn't appear to be scratched or damaged. Okay, well I made a discovery. If you unbolt this end of it, where your chains run over, you can just take your nut off of this end of the rod. And yeah, I could have done that and pulled this nut off and probably got new seals for that and put them in without even taking the cylinder off the forklift. But, oh well, I'm gonna go ahead and just take this whole thing to the hydraulic shop Cause I'm not sure how to get that piston or gland or whatever the hell you call it off and I don't want to screw nothing up so I'll just take it to somebody that knows more than I do and just have the whole thing resealed because I don't want to do it half ass and then have to mess with it again when I really need it. Alright well we've got the cylinder rod back from the hydraulic shop. 
freshly polished with all new seals on it. So we're going to go ahead and try to get this thing through back together today. got a ton of oil on it, so... Maybe there's some sort of seal compressor that would have made that easier. But the board of the tube was tapered, had a nice taper to it, so I, I assumed it just guide itself in. Easier than that, at least. We're going to put some grease on our o ring and grease on our grid. There we go. Now just put all the uh, extra crap back on and bring you back to test it out.
freaking mess going on here with my uh, recoiling. Yeah, side shift. that What do you say we fork some stuff? There's only one thing I'm really not a fan of with this forklift. There's no cup holders. Like, didn't the manufacturers think, you know, where's the operator supposed to put his beer when he's running this thing? I don't know. We'll have to fix that. That's, that's an important modification right there.
Yep, there's definitely something going on with the forward gear on this. But it only seems like once the uh, transmission gets warmed up that it starts having issues, so. Well, I'm going to see if I can't get these moved around where I want them and then maybe try doing some homework on what's going on with this forklift. But uh, I think that about does it for this one, and we'll see you guys on the next one.